Cakes, and today I'm going to show y'all how to dye my berry fade set. First, I'll show you how I dyed the Snowberry colorway. Second will be the Pinkleberry colorway. And third will be the Wineberry colorway. If you would like a free Tunisian crochet pattern to use with this yarn set, go to the link down below for my free pattern to my beginner Tunisian cow. It looks knit, but it's crochet, it works up super quick, and it's so comfy you'll never want to take it off. For more free crochet and Tunisian crochet patterns, visit my website. And for my other yarn dyeing tutorials, look down in the description box below. Now let's get started dyeing the yarn. Today I'm going to use Furl's Wims Merino Undyed Yarn. It is a medium four weight yarn. It is 50% fine superwash merino wool and 50% nylon. You can substitute this yarn with a different animal based fiber yarn. I'm also using various utensils and equipment from my kitchen. For a full list of materials needed and the written instructions, go to the link in the description box below. Soak the yarn in a bowl of 8 cups of water and 2 tablespoons of white vinegar for at least 30 minutes. This will allow the colors to soak into the yarn at about the same rate. For the complete measurements of my dye solutions, go to my written instructions and that link is below.
spray and the next one, we will not be pre-soaking the yarn in water and vinegar. This will allow the yarn to float on top and the dye will soak in at different rates to give a more tonal look. Keep the heat on low so that the dye bath stays warm but does not get hot. We are not heat setting the yarn at this point, just trying to get a good tonal base before we speckle the yarn later.
dyed all three of my Berry Fade Set colorways. I absolutely love how they turned out and I hope that y'all do too. The Snowberry is so pretty with all the specks and speckles of blues, pinks, and purples. The Pinkleberry has a beautiful tonal pink background with purple, blue, and some pink speckles on the lighter tones of pink. So pretty. The Wineberry was the easiest to dye and I love this tonal look of dark purples, blues, and some hot pink specks here and there. This set works up so pretty together. What will you make with yours? Let me know down below. I hope you loved this video tutorial. If so, please give it a huge thumbs up. A share on social media is always amazing. And subscribe for more free patterns, video tutorials, and fun videos. Until next time, bye!